I'd like to welcome everybody to the Delaware County Transfers meeting. It is Monday, November 3rd, 2014, and it's now 9.01. Everybody stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States Ms. Riggin, Mr. King, Ms. Rust, present. and Ms. Sean Neal. We have no public hearings today. We need the approval of October 20th minutes. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion over the minutes? The next call roll, please. Ms. Riggin? Yes. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. <coughs> we have no presentations to the commissioners today. <coughs> Contracts or agreements for approval. We have the LPA consulting contract for county bridge inspections. Does everybody get a chance to uh, look this over? Yep. Representatives on here. Yeah, this is something we want to do. We're up to 100 and what is it, 194 bridges now. Yeah, this is an annual. Yeah, this is an annual mm -hmm. contract. And we do have a representative from the company. Four years. <clears throat> and Sean, have you looked this over? I think mean, Nancy is the standard LPA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's. Okay. And this between us and Delaware County Commission of the United Consultants. I'm going to read the price down there, let people know not to exceed. Its contracts will not exceed $458,300. I'll move that we accept. Second. I have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion? Please call the roll, please. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. Ms. Riggin? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. <coughs> So we'll go for the contracts and agreements. We have no appointments for today, no table of business. We have no ordinances for second reading. We'll move on to the ordinances for first reading. We have ordinance 2014-024, Delaware County Emergency Medical Service Fee Structure and Billing. Jason Rogers, uh, director of EMS. <clears throat> um, we uh, we've been looking at the fee structure for several years now, and uh, we, we think we've found a, a fairly competitive uh, <clears throat> rate. We're not the highest, we're not the lowest. So, uh, in, in this particular ordinance, we've got some other options uh, too that uh, some other communities have uh, put in place as far as a annual subscription service. So, if, uh, an individual. Um, doesn't want to pay their copay, or they feel like there's, you know, there's uh, a reason for them to uh, have that extra coverage. We they subscribe to uh, the subscription service, and then and then if they need an ambulance, then uh, we bill their insurance and they write off the rest. So that, that's a fairly progressive thing that's not done widely uh, here in the central part of the United States. is huge out west. Um, and I picked this up from uh, City of Anderson. They're doing it as well as uh, Fort Wayne and the Trough. So um, we're uh, we're right in line with with them. We're kind of the middle of the road as far as what they're charging uh, both places. So uh, I still think we're very very competitive. There's a few rates in there that uh, we have not changed. I don't think since the 80s uh, that needed to be addressed. So uh, I feel very confident that this will uh, help um, emergency medical service uh, take another step forward. And this, uh, the, it's called the Delaware Care Program. Yes, each evidently each uh, um, department or, or agency has their own subscription name. So we went with Delaware Care, um, and then, uh, for example, Traw puts a lot of money into advertising, and they have an open enrollment, uh, and then essentially you can purchase 
your uh, enrollment for a year. Uh, they'll send you a card, and uh, if you call an ambulance, they give you get a, an account number, and if you would get a bill, then you call and say, hey, I've got a Delaware Care card, it's account number so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, then we would write off the, the uh, well, it's the not covered by insurance. The initial cost is how much? Um, the initial cost is, um, you're gonna, Quote, make me quote you on this. Uh, it's in there. I want to say, I don't want to say it wrong, so let me make sure I have it correct. Well, I thought it was 75 today. Well, there's a, there's a fee for an individual, and then there's a, a fee that's reduced for a family. And then also, it's the same company that's doing our billing. So, yes, yeah, so our billing company has agreed to essentially do all the, do all the money exchanges for us and put the, put the money into our accounts. Um, and, uh, they're going to do it for a, a user, uh, essentially a user fee. So it kind of depends on how they pay. If you pay by credit card, then they'll, and, and they tell you when you call to get to purchase the. So will they be doing the promoting or? Most likely not. Uh, we, the, we the have the promoting, yeah, we got a really competitive uh, billing rate from them. So uh, we'll have to do the promoting <laughs> ourselves. Um, the nice thing that I think about this particular thing is that it's every ambulance service in, in the county, so it's not just us. So Eaton Albany, uh, Gaston, and, and Daleville will also be participating in this uh, and using the same program. So, uh, you know, it benefits all of the communities and, and uh, with the work of the council, uh, with the commissioners, um, and we're, we're figuring out how we can kind of save some money as far as, <laughs> as these fees come in, we're going to try to bank them to help pay the subsidies that we pay those services. So they're going to go out and essentially raise that money on their own that they need to operate uh, in using this Delaware Care program. Uh, it says in here $25 for an individual, $75 for a family, but it doesn't say if it's a monthly or yearly. It's a yearly. What section, Judy, what section? Uh, it's page three at the bottom under N. Yeah. Right, right. There is a, let me go back to the beginning, because it does say uh, that it's a year subscription and there's an open enrollment, there are open enrollments and dates. For clarification, it might not hurt to put it there. Seven that starts, and I'm going to give you the copy that I'm reading. But under page seven, it talks about the. Give that to Denise if she needs the one with the title on it. Just, just trade me first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just no, it's okay. I'll keep I'll keep it for today. You just need that with the back. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got. It's okay.
I guess we can combine the paragraphs. The right. Some of the services that I contacted is is they really get a lot of participation from um, from students. And, and that's just if the transportation is necessary. Right. Right. Yeah. So in a, yeah, in an emergency, it's right. an, it's an emergency situation. And, and this is a good time, I think, to stress. And I didn't know this until about four or five years ago that if someone falls out of bed and the spouse partner can't get them back in bed, that you guys. We'll go out there and help them get up, check to see nothing, and no charges at all. That is correct. And okay. it's just something that a lot of people don't know about. And yeah. they try to get them up and hurt themselves. Sure, yeah, we, we do we do quite a few assisted person calls right. uh, where we'll go out and evaluate them, give them you know our medical opinion, and then if they don't want to go to the hospital, there's no charge for right. any services. Yeah. We also do reduce fees for um, as an example, diabetics who become hypoglycemic, and we actually do the exact same care that they would do in the emergency room, but it's obviously a lot less expensive okay. um, for that as well. And, and that's a we actually reduce the price okay. of um, that care in the disorders. That's a good service. It is. I don't get out of bed stumping your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, first yeah, first reading for um, 2014-2024. Second. I have a motion and second. Any other further discussion? Nice call a little place. Ms. Regan? Yes. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next ordinance, we have 2014-025, establishing Delaware County Sheriff's Jack Grant account. get that pretty much every year don't you? yeah they get that every year and this year it looks like the amount is thirty six thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars mm -hmm. and a portion of the total granted to delaware county sheriff is sixteen thousand six hundred three dollars nobody's here i'll move for introduction to ordinance 2014-025 second i have a motion and second any further discussion Please call the roll, please. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. Ms. Riggan? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. Next we have <clears throat> Ordinance 026, establishing weights and measures, non-reverting funds. That would be an A because it's an amendment. It would be 026A. Two, oh, two, six, it's on the 26A. Thank you. Jeff Brandon, Inspector for Weights and Measures. Uh, I would ask if you would maybe consider uh, suspending the rules on this and going ahead and approving this amendment. Uh, this original ordinance was back in 2005, and uh, we found at the time that the, the account was, was what was called an account, should have been called a fund. And uh, then when I asked for some appropriation for some things that we needed, we found out that the money wasn't there. So. I do have some enforcement <coughs> issues that are going to be coming up, and I would appreciate your support in suspending the rules. What, what year is your truck? Uh, 2006. How many miles you got on it? Almost 70,000. But those tires are expensive too, aren't they? Yeah, they're not. It's a three quarter tons, but they're not cheap. But yeah, the trailer also, that's. Yeah, that's right. 
the mess, I think, is the problem. I haven't been out the ride with him yet. I keep saying I'm going to be out there. I'm saving the special one just for you. <laughs> I, I don't want It's a summertime project. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move for introduction of 2014-026A. Uh, I have a motion for an introduction and a second. Denise, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Riggan? Yes. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. I'll move for suspension of the rules 2014-026A. I'll second that. I have a motion to suspend the rules and a second. Denise, call the roll. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. Ms. Riggan? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. I have a move for approval. 2014 0 Approval. Second. I have a motion and a second for approval of 0 26A. Please call the roll, please. Ms. Riggan? Yes. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. Next we have Ordinance 2014 027, increasing Delaware County Board of Health permit fees. Amy? Or Jay? Mm -hmm. Jimmy Bain, Administrator of Health Department. Uh, what documents do you guys have before you? Jenny and I had an exchange back and forth with a number of revisions, so I have some here I'd like to give you. Are they highlighted or? I have one that has the changes tracked. I believe that one was, I believe Jenny had that one for you guys, did she not? Okay. I have some here. If you want those two, I just didn't want to overload you. <coughs> I'm not sure. I charges remain the same from the 2011. We have some additions that we've uh, included there. Um, the main primary one that I've brought to you guys that I'm looking to get in place for our 2015 uh, permit year is a $100 school permit fee for any of the schools within our county, um, as well as $100 fee for county-owned food establishments, which would include the jail currently. Um, and a zero dollar permit fee for our soup kitchens. Uh, we feel it was within our ability to do a zero dollar permit fee for those soup kitchens just out of, uh, they're trying to provide food for people who need it. We're not looking to make that more difficult by putting them under the square footage rule and having them be at two to four hundred dollars uh, in permit fees. Those inspections we have two soup kitchens currently. I would do those on my own. And that any kind of donation after hours if necessary. Um, the school permit fees, the schools had all filed appeals in 2012. 
regarding uh, those permit fees. They previously had no fees, and then they were all bumped to uh, a range of somewhere from the 215 to $430 range, which they all cited as being a burden to their budgets and also an issue with them being tax funded and then us taking it from them. We think the $100 fee will be sufficient. Schools tend to be all well within uh, compliance of the rules to be able to conduct their two inspections that they are required to receive to receive their uh, federal dollars. And um, we don't anticipate the need for follow-ups or any of those issues at, at the schools. Um, and you have talked to most superintendents. I know that was the issue I pers yeah, I personally have only spoken with Steve Hall from Delta Home Schools. He gave full support. He actually offered to come uh, speak on behalf of this at the meeting if necessary. The commissioners requested that. I remember when we appealed, uh, you wasn't present, but every one of them that I talked to, and I believe I talked to every one of them, they were all would be happy with a $100 uh, fee at that to, to take their point. So I'm glad you got, got with them. Yeah. Got this change. Um. When I came in Friday and picked up my packet, noticed this. And then Saturday, I was at quite a few bazaars and had some lovely meals. But what is the classification for churches? How do we handle them? Well, there's in the past, anything related to a church was strictly off limits. We didn't regulate it at all. There's kind of a gray area right now where it's a matter of how many days they operate, the purpose for which they're operating the menu type that they're serving, whether it be like an extensive menu or whether it just be baked goods. Um, so for the most part, if it's church related, we do not regulate them at all. But there are some small but exceptions. If, but if it's, the public is there though, I mean, I wouldn't want it to be two or three hundred dollars, but I just kind those of would question be, some yeah. of the any of those that would require a permit, it would be a seventy dollar permit fee for a temporary food. Menu. Well, it, I mean, you know, I knew at one time that each church had to have one representative that was kind of over the program and knew the rules and made sure all the volunteers were, is that being enforced at all? Um, there's nothing in the codes that allows us to enforce that as a rule and require that necessarily. But if they're having... If they are having, if they're having the public come into their place and pay five dollars, eight dollars, the churches are basically protected. There's, uh, it would be a nightmare to try to determine who's an actual member of the church and who's. Well, I, I the realize public, that, so. but if it's open to the public and they're advertising, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of the safety because I've been in the in food industry for some time and. You know, things that don't get cleaned up. Yeah. The state rules, unfortunately, in that sense, protect the churches from regulation. Okay, learn something every day. Thank you. Okay, uh, further down on there, you should find a um, some clarification on things such as our plan <coughs> review fee. Previously, it just stated plan review fee, but no one knew that it, that pertained to a change of ownership. <coughs> or remodeling of establishments, so we just added in a few words there to help clarify that. There's some clarification on our enforcement costs uh, of a reinspection. Previously, people were under the impression that if they closed voluntarily, say for a power outage, or um, they had a sewage backup, they wanted to voluntarily close to clean it up, that they would see a charge from us in order to reopen the next day. We're clearing that up so that they they realize it's enforcement related only. If we close you down, you see that fee in order to get another inspection to open back up. Uh, and then, then there are also some late fees added in for the tattoo parlors and the pools. Previously, the only late fee that was present in the 2011 version of our fee ordinance was under the heading of the food establishments. Um, I believe that was still applied to the other establishments, so I'd like that in each section for clarification that it does pertain to each separate section of our fee ordinance. Okay, any other questions?
Uh, before you leave today, can I see you after the meeting? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll move for introduction 2014-027. Second. A motion is second. Any further discussion? Please call roll, please. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. Ms. Riggin? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. We have no more ordinances. We have no resolutions. Uh, time for department heads or elected officials. Anybody like to get up to speak? Have anything for us? Uh, Jeff Brand of Weights and Measures again. I'd just like to bring you up to date. Uh, our department works off rules set by NIST, which is the National Institute of Standard and Technology. Indiana is one of a few states that does not have automatic adoption for the new rules and regulations each year. So we have been operating off 1998 rules and regulations up until recently and the governor and the state health department and the attorney general passed the uh, ordinance that Indiana is now operating on the 2014 NIST. So we are up to date. We haven't been for a long time. Down my end. Congratulations. <laughs> I kind of, um, I wonder why your organization wasn't pushing that more or something. We do. It was the legislatures that they, they just won't they pass don't the automatic one. adoption. Glad you got it through. Have no monthly, weekly reports. We'll move the payment of claims in the amount of one million four hundred fifty-four thousand twenty-two dollars and fifty-five cents. Second. A motion to approve and a second. Do we have any discussion? Means call the roll, please. Ms. Friggin. Yes. Mr. Bledsoe. Yes. And Mr. King. Yes. Move on to questions, comments, any other business? If we don't, I'll entertain a motion to recess. Second. A motion to recess. Please please. Mr. Bledsoe? Yes. Ms. Riggin? Yes. And Mr. King? Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.